Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Mark, Crypto Boy in Oz. It is the 12th of August. It is 9.35 p.m. And I just thought I'd do a bit of a market update and just uh, reiterate my previous my previous video what I posted at work today, overlooking the beautiful Perth CBD in Western Australia. And it's titled, Sold Giro and Feel Sick. And I've had a couple of replies from... Um, my subs that have gone through the same thing. So it's not just me. And I've been previous videos. I've talked about using a percentage of my portfolio for trading. And let me tell you that stops right now. I ain't trading anything else ever again because I got smashed. I basically followed Giro from 16 cents a couple of days ago. And I just happened to be online. And I noticed it spike and it got went up to 20 cents. And within two hours, it got from 20 cents and it had a wick on a candle to 35 cents. It actually really only got to 30 cents. And then the wick was literally one minute up to 35 cents and back down again. And I kind of thought, this is good. This is good. I'm going to take some profits because it's, it's surely it's going to drop back down again. And it went from it went from it went from thirty cents and it started going down. And I actually sold it. It was twenty twenty eight and a half cents when I sold. Uh, and I thought, beauty, this is going to go back down to like twenty two cents thereabouts. That's what I thought. I'll just buy it back and I'll make a lot of zero. And then what happened? It went down to twenty seven cents and then it rallied back up again to thirty three cents. And then today, it went over forty cents and. Um, oh, just quick mention, I've got a couple more subs. I've got 35 subs now, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I know I'm only small and not as good as probably listening to a lot of the um, YouTubers out there, but that comes with time and experience, and I'm not a multimillionaire. I'm just like you. I literally have a bit of an investment that's kind of slowly but surely going into a profit, which is took a long time to happen. So this is my channel. If you've just found me, please subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, helps YouTube. Um, I'll give you them, show it in front of people that are relevant. So hopefully that'll get more people coming to the channel. And it's a little intimate one at the minute, 35 subs. Pretty small. and kind of like it. So yeah, here we are. This is my per private portfolio. If you haven't seen it before, so four-year plan, is twenty three thousand dollars, and if you look here, I haven't actually, I haven't actually amended my portfolio on crypt on coin market cap because I felt sick so much I couldn't actually toy with removing it. Even though this is this isn't where my crypto is held, it's just it's just where I put it, so it's all in one place across all platforms, so it just makes it easier. So I've got twenty five thousand five hundred zero, but I've not. I've got twelve thousand seven hundred and fifty. Um. And look, my average buy price was 16 cents. The current price is 35 cents. I sold it at 28 and a half cents. Now, buying back isn't as bad now. Buying it back this morning, I felt sick. It was over 10,000. It was actually worth over $10,000 this morning. And my stomach, let me tell you, my stomach, it felt awful. I felt. I felt like I'd committed adultery or something or I'd um, cheated on, cheated on, I don't know, cheated on my wife or, you know, like the worst thing, the worst thing possible you can feel. That's what it felt like. And I'm thinking, I ain't doing this shit anymore. Like I ain't going through these emotions. It was the, well, I'm saying it was, it still is. It's the worst feeling ever. And I'm debating now whether I jump back in or not. Do I get back in now at 35 cents? Do I think, okay, I'm paying an extra six and a half cents a coin times 12,750. So let's just quickly do the math. So 12,750 coins and I need, I need, and it's 35 cents. So it's costing me, we'll call it seven cents times 0 0.07. Painful. It's going to cost me. $892 just to get back where I were. Do you know what the most annoying thing is? I sold a miner 
and I got fourteen hundred dollars for it, Australian, which is just over a thousand dollars. I can't think the the exact math. I think a thousand and fifty or something. Um, I got that, and this was a few days ago. I've had it a few days, and at the time, I was going to buy Orkham Finance because this is another big one that I really love, and I was going to I was going to um, literally just buy everything. With I was just going to buy a thousand dollars worth of Orkham Finance, and it was six dollars seventy five. And I thought, no, I'll wait for the pullback. I'll wait for the pullback because it was like 6.40. I'll wait for the pullback. Pullback. $9. $9. So even now, everything's going to go in against me. And I kind of, I've done exactly the opposite of what I say I should, you should do. So what, what you say, what I say, what I say you should do is um, if you're trading, trade with a small percentage of your portfolio. I got greedy. I had 50% of my long-term bag trying to make gains when I've been dollar cost averaging, getting my average buy price to 16 cents. And now I'm just going to mess that up now by spending $900 getting myself back to where I was. Plus I'm not going to get nowhere near as many open finance that I wanted. So I wanted to get to 500 because five, when you get to 500, your staking level goes up. So you get more rewards. You get an higher percentage. I think if you've got 150, um, you get uh, off memory, I think five to twenty percent um, chance of getting allocation, um, and you get like the smallest amount of allocation as well. So you get a li- smallest smallest dollar value um, per per um, IDO. It changes. It's different for every IDO. Some some give more, some give less. When you've got five hundred, then you you stake in your your chance of getting getting in the idea of goes from five to 20% chance to 10, I think it's 10, 10 to 30% chance. Um, plus obviously you, you're staking it as well. So you're staking it and then you're getting rewarded for it too. So I'm just really, I'm really mad with myself, but a couple of comments that I've had from a couple of uh, subscribers has, has made me feel, has made me feel better. So I'll just, just click on here. I don't want to. I, I don't want to. Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Mark Crypto Boy in Aussie. Do you, love, do you love that Ivy's vest? That Ivy's top. Um. So Robert, Robert Elliot. Thank you, Robert. He feels my pain. So this happened to me with Giro as well. A month or two ago, I saw my entire bag at thirteen and a half cents. You got it cheaper than me, and later it rocketed up to seventeen. Before more than repurchase my entire bag, but yeah, too bad. It's only like three and a half cents. Uh, purchased the rear bag at a premium. As the days roll back, we had a pullback all the way to its new all time low of 9.5 cents. So we could have actually, it didn't need to do it. But the thing is, you can't help but fall more because I, like, I know, I know this could come back down and I could buy it and I, I could possibly still increase my. Uh, still, still increase my holdings it could come down lower than 28 cents because we are having a little correction now bitcoin's dropped and everything is dropping a little bit but I, if you believe in giro like like i do for one i was stupid for selling it i shouldn't have sold it um, but if you believe in giro like i do and you think that this this on the next bull cycle could be a hundred dollar coin and i had twenty two thousand of them twenty two and a half thousand and you think it could be a hundred hundred dollar coin very silly very very silly so robert did exactly the same as me um just finish reading. So he bought every single dip on the way down and told myself I would never ever make the mistake of selling Jivo again. It was a costly mistake, but nonetheless, I took the plunge and bought my original bag plus more just for the fact that I knew the project would be special. Not, fa- not financial advice, but you just might have to pay that premium to get back where you were once you had a pullback. Whether the price continues to go up or tank once you buy back. Once you're barbecue, you'll sleep better at night knowing that you have that knowing that you have your bag back. Take my word for it. I sleep like a baby now. I feel you. I feel you. Because last night I had a shocking sleep. A shocking sleep. What sleep of my life? I tell you what, I've never, I've never, 
I've never felt so disappointed in myself. I've never felt it because Ran on crypto crypto banter, he's always talking about your hodl bag and you don't touch it. You do not touch it. And then, but it's Sheldon. Sheldon gets gets me going because he's, he's he's talking about trading like a percentage of your portfolio and. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, no one to blame but myself. Like, nobody. Nobody at all. And then, new sat mobile. New sat mobile. It happens to everyone, not just you. Don't regret it. Sometimes you need to play with the market. One coin, I think, will 5x soon. Is Affinity EFI. Try to buy that and hold it. Is he shilling it? Possibly. But just for replying and saying everyone goes through the same shit at some point, I'll give him a like. In fact, I'll give him a heart. Um, am I logged in? I thought normally it comes... Oh, there I am. There I am. There's my little logo. I'll re I will reply back to him, but I'm not going to do that while I'm talking to you. Um, I mean, I like doing these mobile videos when I'm at work, just in case it's, I'm too busy and I can't do content at night. But I don't look good close up, do I? I mean, look at that. I mean, I look... I mean, I know obviously that's just a screenshot, but I'm just seeing aggression, though. I'm seeing aggression. He's a fiery soul, that one. He's a fiery soul. Nice background, though. Shocking day today, though. Didn't rain, but but it is winter in Perth. So anyway, anyway, I'll not bore any more of your time with that. And I hope you appreciate that I show you my bags. Um, so there's my four-year plan, which is this. This is my personal investment, which I talk about sometimes cash that I've put in, then I've got super, super one, and then I've got my amended portfolio, which I've not put live on here yet. And the reason why I do this is because when I change my bags, shuffle it about a bit, and then I keep the old bag and then update the new bag. And then I've got another one now, super three, which I'm going to update again. And if you look, the original one, if I'd have kept it, it was 28251. I updated it and it was 27.4. So I know by changing my bags at that moment, at this moment in time, I'm worse off. Um, and again, when I saw my Giro, I sold quite a lot of different coins into cash because I, I expected a pullback and it never came. So now I've bought back in. I've kept, I've kept three grand on the side just in case there is a bit of a pullback, but I've kept three grand on the side just to see where this next day takes us. Um, and hopefully then I can buy back in um, some some deals just to recoup my losses. Uh, but then I'll I'll put my Super 2 on here so I can compare where I am now, where I was on my previous bag and then the previous one before that. So anyway, let's get to it. So Bitcoin, it has retraced. I'm so glad it's come down because it were killing me. It were killing me. So Bitcoin's come down to 44.6. Um, Ethereum down to three one, so we just want it to pull back. Um, just keep pulling back, keep pulling back. And I'd like it if Bitcoin could get down to like forty two, then that might give my Giro wallet a chance to come down a bit more. But I mean, let me tell you, how good, how good has this last, has this last uh, month been? I mean, look at look at the gains: thirty seven, thirty seven percent Bitcoin, fifty seven percent ETH. 57% XRP, 50% Uniswap. Everything's everything's rocketed in this month. But don't forget when I say everything's rocketed this month, you're only going to be benefiting if you got in if you got in like a month ago or maybe two months ago. But for the best part of people, it's not it's rocketing, but it's it's only recouping what it what we've lost. Don't forget, Bitcoin was at sixty four and a half thousand. Like. Um, I think Cardano got to like 250. Polkadot, there were 40. Polkadot, Uniswap, Chainlink, Solana, they were all between 40 and $60. So they're coming back, but they're nowhere near to what they were. It's going to take, it's for some people, it's going to take probably another two months um, if we are continuing in a bull cycle, which I think we are. It's going to be taking another two months just for a lot of people to break even. Um, but it's exciting, isn't it? I mean, once you go down the rabbit hole of crypto, it's like there's no coming back. There's no coming back from it. And if you do trade, 
And when I say trade, I don't mean like you're a professional trader. I just mean you see something that goes up and you think, oh, you've got to get the pullback. And then you you sell it and you go into cash. You feel sick then. You feel, Literally, you feel sick the second you go into cash or USDC or whatever. The second you come out of crypto, you can't. You're twitchy. You're looking at coin market cap constantly. Um, you, you, you're feeling nervous and apprehensive and cold sweats and fevers and it's a terrible feeling. It's absolutely awful. And I just don't recommend it. I've come to my senses. As George says, DCA, dollar cost average. If you buy it and the price goes up, brilliant. Don't feel tempted to sell it. And then if the price tanks, buy more. And that's what I was doing with Giro. I started buying it like way, way more than what it was. It was 30 cents or something when I started buying it. I bought it all the way down to like 11, 11 cents. And that's how I brought my average buy price down to 16 cents. So I didn't care. It, it went down because I just think as it goes down, it's a buying opportunity. I started getting... So you're getting greedy and think, not thinking straight. So don't do what I did. So that's, that's my little rant. So let's have a look at the crypto fear and greed. 70% it's come down a little. I looked before and it was actually just under 80. And one thing that we don't want, we don't want this ticker to go up to greed. Now, I know on here it's saying 70 greed, but this dark section, we don't want to get in this dark section here. And if you're wondering why, it's because once we're in this section, this means that investments by retail primarily are like aping in, chasing the green, chasing the green, shooting the price up, which will be unrealistic gains in too much of a short period, which will then cause a like, massive correction. Um, so you'll get like people like long in the market. You'll get people short in the market. There'll be liquidations left, right and center. The manipulators will come in and fire the price the up and down and it'll be a nightmare. We want to keep it. We want to keep it here in this nice green section. It'd be better if it were back a little bit between 60 and 70, somewhere around that range. But we don't want that uncertainty in the market. If we want this bun, if we want this bull run to continue, like up to all time highs and, and far beyond and Bitcoin over hundred K, um, we need to go up slowly, slowly and steadily. We need, we need, we need to, let's go on CMC, um, trading view. I'm going big. Look at this pullback. Look at this pullback here. So when you're looking at this chart now, this is this is what you want. So you want you want it to go like this. Then you want it to shoot up. Then you want it to go down a bit. Then you want it to go up. And then it might go sideways for a little bit. And that is alpha. And one thing you've got to one one thing you've got to keep your eye on to make sure we're still in a bull market is you want higher highs. And higher lows, higher highs, and higher lows. Now, this isn't obviously a good representation here because I've started going lower lows and lower high on that one there. But um, yeah, so you, if you look here, that this is this is the low, then it's shot up. You've got a you've got a higher high because you're looking at that previous high there. So you've got a higher high straight away, then it's come down retest, um, which is just catching its breath. In layman terms, it's catching its breath. And then it's gone back up. But if you see, it's a it's a higher low. Like it's not come anywhere near down here, has it? I mean, it could have it could have still come down anywhere to like 31, 32,000, and it's still been bullish in a way because it's it's a higher low. As long as the higher eye went back over the previous eye, but it didn't come down. It didn't, I'm just being hypoth hypothetical there. But anyway, it didn't. It come down, we got a lower high, and then we got a higher high. And now we we're coming down again. And I don't think we're going to come that low. I mean, I think we might get to, will we get to 42? Probably not. We could do, but again, as long as we form a lower high, uh, sorry, uh, as long as we form a higher low, so above this, above this 37, which I don't think we're going to come down there, there because we've got this support line here on this trend line. 
I think with the probably most we'd come down to is probably test 40. Um, but then you've also got this horizontal as well, um, which is like 42, 400. So we could break 42, 400. We could come down to like 40,000 thereabouts, but I don't think we will because I'm just feeling it's things are getting bullish now. So yeah, you just want it, you want you want you want lower, higher higher highs and higher lows, higher highs and higher lows, and that's showing bullish movement. And looking at this chart, because you've got this unbalance here, it come down so fast. Again, I ain't a charter, but I'm finding I'm finding myself. I know what I'm talking about in a strange way. But here you got this all this unbalance because you, you can't go from fifty seven thousand in a day down to we were with 44,000 and then over the next few days, I mean, all this were too fast. So you've not really got, I don't see this as like any kind of resistance here because it was all too fast. It all happened too fast. So I, I think if we, I think we're going to steadily start going up. If this is bullish again, if we, if we just have a little consolidation here, a little respite, a little breather, um, just, it just relaxes for a day or two. And then up it, go, up it goes again. I think we could easily um, break, where are we? Where are we now? 50. Like 50,000 is another milestone. You have this little bit of, hang on, I'll just, I'll just put a, I need a rectangle. Rectangle, anywhere? Where are the shapes? Patterns. Right. Come on, I need a rectangle. Where are we? Anyone? Help. Where the hell are the shapes? Hmm. Well, this has got me perplexed. Absolutely perplexed. Smiley faces, is it? Yeah, I forget it. So yeah, you've got this area. So you've got from like forty-seven up to I don't know where. where, where. Yeah, so right here, this area here, you've got like fifty, forty-eight, fifty thousand dollars. So I think if we can get over fifty thousand and then retest there and then get a higher, higher low and then continue up, it's not. We're not far off getting back up to all time highs. I think once we get once we get past like fifty five thousand around this range, um, things are going to change. It's already looking very bullish to me, anyway, and I'm glad. I'm glad I've got the bags I've got now, um, and I ain't changing them. So just don't change your bags, please. Don't change. So let's quickly look in on the heat maps. So you can see now we're getting we're getting quite a lot of red candles because the prices have started coming down a little bit, which is good. We needed it. We needed this little retracement um, just to consolidate, take a breather, and then go back up to higher highs. So anyway, I'm not. I'm not going to drag this video on. I've been talking for 23 minutes, which is much long enough, and I'm much as appreciate us. Um, God, I've got to get off this. Look at that face. Look at that face. Oh, my God. So, yeah, if you like the video, smash the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Follow me on my journey. Um, I want you to, I want us to get, this is the, the whole point in the video. The whole point of this channel was just me documenting, documenting my, my, my journey from, from March. I didn't start it then, but from March, I just wanted, I just wanted to document my journey for my personal investments with a little money that I've got. And then my super, which is a, obviously my pension investment. I wanted to document them both um, and just just have you come along on the, on the ride with me and hopefully have serious wealth changing money by the end of this bull run and then knowing, knowing when to kind of pull money out 
because no one can time the top like nobody can time the bottom so it's it's finding um finding an an amount that you're happy with where you can start pulling money out and not feel thick if the price keeps going up because no one's going to time the top and at some point it's going to start coming back down at a rapid pace um so i want us to learn how to take profits and i've never done it before so i'll be watching other youtubers to get like a, a balanced opinion across a few different ones and hopefully we'll take some profits and we'll hold them um and I'm gonna. I'm. I'm still gonna stay in some coins. I don't think some of the coins that I'm invested in, I'll, I'll, I'll take anything out. It's it's an hard one, isn't it? Because you think like your your forever bag. I don't. I don't want to take any money out of it ever, because I want to. I want life life changing wealth, and time in the top is like impossible so you can pull your money out beforehand but then if we're going to a super cycle what happens then if we're going to super cycle that means it could keep going up for like months and months and months um it's a tough one it's another it's a it's a conversation for another day i think so thanks for watching um yeah and i really appreciate i, I really appreciate those two comments as well but it's not it's not just me that um kind of messed up and went through all that stress and unhappiness and I'll, and i'll let you know i'll let you know how i go um rebuying my giro what price i paid for it and what have you but yeah smash the like button subscribe to the channel and remember there's a crypto boy in all of you including you women out there